Jenny gives birth during Outlander Book 1, Chapter 32. Can you believe we're on to the chapter of Jenny giving birth? Outlander Book 1, Chapter 32 is an essential chapter, as it sets up the storyline as to why Jamie and Claire remain at Lollybrock for as long as they did. This is another short chapter. It's also contained on just the one focus. It's all about Jenny's birth and thoughts that come with that. While the show made this part all about Claire being out of her depths but saving Jenny and baby Maggie's lives, the book just made her a bystander of sorts. She was there to lend a helping hand for the midwife. I'll get into my thoughts about why this happened when we get into the adaptation section of our Outlander Book Club post. There wasn't too much in the way of foreshadowing, I don't think. Most of the focus is in the moment. It's about Jenny and about the birth. We also get a sense of the dangers of childbirth in the 18th century. The ending is important for Claire and Jamie. It brings them closer together, as they accept what may or may not be. As we start to get snug into July, here's a look at Outlander Book 1, Chapter 32's Breakdown. Just the Outlander Chapter. We start off with the knowledge that Claire and Jamie can't remain at Lollybrock for much longer. Jamie notes that there are English dragoons not too far away. They're about two days' ride away, which means that's the time they have to remain in Jamie's home. It's a bittersweet thought. Claire has been fully accepted into the Fraser Murray clan. She is part of the family now, and Jenny trusts her completely. This is clear when Jenny goes into labor and Claire remains by her sister-in-law's side. Childbirth can be traumatic. It's also a deeply personal thing. Something that can be overlooked now when we're surrounded by doctors, nurses, and midwives. We tend not to want too many people to see us in this vulnerable state. Yet Jenny doesn't argue about Claire remaining there, even with the midwife around. Claire is out of her depth. She's only seen childbirth in sterile environments, so now she gets a chance to see it completely natural with a midwife by Jenny's side. She also notices that the labor isn't progressing the way it should and suggests that the baby may not be lying the right way. I love the midwife in this chapter. She doesn't brush Claire off and, instead, considers the possibility and realizes that it's the case. This isn't a woman fearful about her position or Claire stepping on her toes. Instead, she feels supported and accepts Claire's help the way it was intended. Fortunately, the midwife is able to turn the baby and labor progresses. Jenny, who fears that she is going to die, gives birth to baby Maggie. Both mother and baby are healthy, and Claire is able to deliver the good news. However, Ian fears the worst. He fears that all that screaming he heard in now the silence means that Jenny has died. It was likely a common fear for men in the time, especially for men who married for love and not business. The end of the chapter gives us Claire and Jamie alone once more. Jamie tells Claire that he knows she's possibly barren. That's something Gail has told him, suggesting that she was looking to stir up some trouble. While he was disappointed, he now realizes that it probably is for the best. After all, they are living a life on the run and it's not a life to bring a baby into. Jamie also admits that he'd never be able to allow Claire to be in such pain. He would bear it all if he could. Any foreshadowing within the Outlander chapter. While most of the chapter is focused on Jenny giving birth, there are a couple of times I think about the storylines to come. The first involves Claire and pregnancy. Jamie is sure she's barren due to what Gail has said, but it's likely at this point that she's pregnant. She finds out after rescuing Jamie from Wentworth that she's pregnant. It's just one of those things that took a little time. I do wonder if the stress of the way Claire and Jamie were living and Claire's need to get back to the stones made it harder to conceive. Yet, Claire's pregnancy isn't a healthy one. She loses faith and when it comes to Brianna's birth, it's all done with modern medicine. The thoughts of the sterile rooms could be foreshadowing of how Claire is actually going to give birth to one of her daughters. At one point, Jenny also jokes that there are few babies born in July because the men are too tired to do anything in November. It's hard work plowing the fields for harvest, but it's foreshadowing that Jamie is different to the others and Claire is now pregnant. I also spot some foreshadowing at the start of the chapter. Jamie makes it clear that they need to leave soon. The English is there. 
while the English aren't the ones who come for Jamie, the Frasers are in danger. And the birth of Maggie leads to Jamie's capture. They stay beyond the time Jamie says they should leave. If Jenny hadn't given birth, would the two have left sooner? Would that have prevented everything from happening or would they have run across the watch elsewhere since McNabb had already sown those seeds? Adapting the story for the Outlander series This chapter was used in the show but very differently. Instead of a midwife around, Claire was the one to deliver Jenny's baby. And Claire wasn't skilled at turning the baby, which meant she was born breech. We saw Claire completely out of her depth. She'd never dealt with childbirth and here she was with the life of her sister-in-law and niece in her hands. Everything was against her, but she focused and managed to bring the baby into the world. This is one of those instances of Super Claire that I do find the show guilty of giving us a little too much. We know she's capable, but seeing Claire and the midwife working together in the chapter was beautiful, especially the way the midwife wasn't offended by Claire's suggestions. I'd have loved to see that, women supporting women. However, there's another reason for this adaptation. We get to see Claire and Jenny bond even further. Jenny's life is in Claire's hands. This is a moment for Jenny to put all her trust in Claire, despite not really knowing her. This intimate and vulnerable moment is made all the more important with this growth of the bond, and I do wonder if that's what the show was really looking at gaining from this change. We also get to see Claire be more honest with Jamie about their chances of having a family. Claire admits that she fears she's barren, that she's always feared it. The topic doesn't come up in the show as much as in the book. I actually get fed up of constantly reading about Claire's thoughts on her ability to have a child in the book. It's just too much. So I do feel the show handled it a little better in this case with just the odd mention to building up to Claire being honest with Jamie about it, and Jamie's understandable disappointment. We also don't get Claire and Jamie discussing the need to leave as much. I'm sure it must come up somewhere, but I don't remember it. 